टॉपिक इज मोशन एंड वन डायमेंशन टूडे एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एरिया एंड स्लो विल बी क्लियर थ्रू क्वेश्चन दिस फ्रॉम द ग्राफ शॉन द रेश ऑफ डिस्टेंस टू डिस्प्लेसमेंट ट्वेंटी फाइव सेकेंड ऑफ मोशन इज वी हैव टू फाइंड राइट एंड देर टू क्वेश्चन सेकेंड क्वेश्चन दिस इन दिस केस एरिया कौन सा विल बी देयर in the next is the displacement time graph of moving particle as shown in the figure instantaneous velocity of the particle is indicated at the point in this case slope concept will be there right next this question is for this this and this right next concept applicable concept applicable in difference between distance and displacement mathematical formula is applicable here and regarding the slope is given to you please go through all these contents very carefully all are very useful right this is all about the slope now i will start the question now before you start of the solution i will request if you are new to my youtube channel set is shift down please like and subscribe to my channel and press bell icon to receive updates on concept clearing videos let's start the question our question requirement is ratio of distance and displacement right now in the on the x axis it is given time y axis given is velocity so distance or displacement will be product v into t if in the graphical question any physical quantity we have to find then check whether it is a product or so ratio if it is product think of area and be careful regarding the scalar and vector quantity distance it is scalar quantity and displacement is vector quantity right now we have to find the ratio of these two so we have to find the area area of figure dekhte hain 0 to 25 seconds are half ye area kitna banega half base into height 5 into 10 plus half this one area half the area is the 5 into 10 plus this is the trapezium trapezium mein kya half sum of parallel sides 10 plus 20 into distance with that that is 5 plus area of this triangle half this comes out to be 5 into 20 20 right if we simplify this this is the area above x axis area above x axis if we simplify this we get on simplification this will comes out to be 200 right 200 meter now area below the x axis area below the x axis is half base 5 into height 20 that is half 5 into 20 that comes out to be 10 that is 50 meter 50 meter now distance is a scalar quantity So we have to add the complete the area 200 plus 50. This comes out to 250 meter. Displacement. Then consider sine of the area also. So above x-axis minus below x-axis. This comes out to 150. We have to find the ratio of this the ratio of dis ratio of distance upon displacement. This comes out to be 250 divided by 
this comes out to be 5 by this comes out to be 5 by 3. Check the answer which option is correct. Let's see. Our option will be 5 by 3. C is the correct option. Right? C option is correct option. C option is correct. Again repeating. In case it is to be determined, be very very careful regarding the physical quantity, whether it is a scale or vector. Depending on that, we have to consider the sign as done in this question. Right? Next question number two. That is the application of slope. Application slope. In this question, we have to find the velocity, instantaneous velocity, instantaneous velocity, velocity at point A. Right? Instantaneous velocity is displacement upon time. Means this is the ratio. Right? This is the ratio. Means we have to think of slope. Think of slope. Think of slope. Now, slope ke other? Slope is, suppose any line is there. This angle is theta. Angle bared by the line with the positive direction of x axis. x axis, y axis. Positive direction is moving with respect to this in this direction. Then the slope is m equal to tan theta equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. As we go and increase the angle, a line will become this, line will become this. If this is the case, if the angle is obtuse, theta greater than 90, slope will be negative. Theta less than 90, slope will be positive. If theta comes out to be 0, 0 means parallel to x axis, slope will be 0. In this case, we have to find the velocity at which instantaneous velocity of the particle is negative at that point. Negative to find it. See it. If we draw the tangent at this point, if we extend this here, slope will be acute angle. In this case, parallel to x axis, slope will be 0. In this case, it will be acute 1, right? In this case, if we draw the tangent at this point, this will be obtuse. Means slope will be negative. Means instantaneous is relatively at point C. Instantaneous velocity will be negative at point E. Is option C is correct. Again repeating, at whatever point you have to find any slope. Draw the tangent at that point. If theta is less than 90 degree, then slope is positive. If theta is greater than 90 degree, then slope is negative. How to find? Move in the anti-clockwise direction with the positive direction of x as explained. Right? Thank you. Dhanyavad. Bhot bhot dhanyavad. Next video will be on my vectors. Thanks.